Stick with me and I'll teach you how to grow giant monster potatoes. So a lot about the size of potatoes has to do with time. You have to just let them sit in the ground. It works better in the south, but you can grow them here in uh, the north. And you can get some pretty monster potatoes. This is a monster sweet potato, but there's a secret to it. The big secret is that when you plant potatoes, it's opposites. And what I mean by that is, I'll explain it, is if you have a giant potato and I plant this thing into my garden, it will actually make small potatoes. So let me show you. Oh. Let me show you. Um, here I've got a new bed laid out, a new raised bed. And the big secret to growing these potatoes is you need to start with opposites. And what that means is that giant potatoes like this will only grow small potatoes. So when this thing finally goes, it's just going to put out lots of tiny potatoes. If you plant really tiny potatoes, they make these large potatoes. So I don't really know why this happens. But if you talk to potato farmers, they will tell you it is true. So if you want monster potatoes, you need to plant little ones and give it lots of time. Also, this again works better in the south. Um, but if you're patient enough, you can actually let your potatoes go to multiple years to get really giant ones if you want. Now the downside to this is the giant potatoes take a long time to cook. <laughs> you can imagine. I mean this thing's the size of my, my head. Pretty much it's, it's uncookable. So what you have to do is cut it up anyway and dice it. So you can't really use them as um, regular potatoes. And the smaller ones usually taste a little better. But if you just want to grow them for sure audacity, that's the way to do it. So I'm going to put these large ones into the bed and they're going to end up creating lots of tiny potatoes in this corner. So this is the sweet potato that I showed you putting in. This is about a month later. You can see it's starting to shoot runners. I've got to tie them up to uh, this trellis. I'm going to actually try to run the sweet potato vines up. There's a uh, part of the sweet potato haul some more of it. Some of it got pretty banged up coming out though. I hope that little trick helps you uh, grow gigantic potatoes. Again, I did it with sweet potatoes, but I'm pretty sure it'd work with any kind of potato. Uh, if you enjoy this series, remember I got lots of farming stuff up. All you have to do is, uh, you know, check out the stories that are about to appear. Also, uh, if you want to know more, I've got unlisted and private videos over at my website. Just go to lupotv.com, sign up, I don't spam you or anything, and you get access to a bunch of videos that are unlisted and private. That's right, you get to be part of the cool kids. Anyway, thanks so much, I appreciate it, and for all you guys also that are using my Amazon link, I really appreciate that. Uh, it's listed below, so if you're going to shop on Amazon, just go through that link. And that has been um, very helpful for keeping the channel afloat. So I miss you guys, and I appreciate you watching. And thanks for all the nice comments. As always, be nice to that cat and stick in there. Grow those potatoes.